Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time here, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. In this video, we are going to talk about the dengue fever, right? So the dengue virus belongs to the family Flaviviridae, right? So we already went through uh, the general features of these viruses which belong to this family. Uh, in the previous videos when we uh, talked about the yellow fever virus and also the West Nile virus. So in this video, we are going to talk about the dengue only. Okay, so let's get into it. Right, firstly, I want to tell you two important things which you need to uh, remember throughout this video. There are four main serotypes of dengue virus. Dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, dengue virus 3, and dengue virus 4. And of these four, dengue virus 2 is of great importance because our repeated infection by this serotype will lead to a complication known as the dengue hemorrhagic fever. And we will talk about that in this video. Right, the second thing you need to remember is that uh, this Dengue virus is usually associated with the chikungunya virus, right? So in some cases, you will find a core infection of these two. All right, so let's get into our dengue box. Dengue virus is found in the tropical regions worldwide, particularly in Asia, and we have Thailand as an example, uh, and also in the Caribbean, and South America. Talking about transmission, uh, the vector are mosquitoes, particularly this uh, species Aedes aegypti, right? Uh, and the reservoirs are humans. And we also have uh, like some cases of non-vector transmission, for example, uh, through sexual intercourse. Now let's talk about the clinical features. Dengue virus, the incubation period is usually 2 to 14 days. And also in children, it's usually asymptomatic, right? But if we have symptoms, they are grouped into two. The classic dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever, right? Okay, so let's talk about the classic dengue fever first. Right, as the name implies, it starts with fever and malaise and it lasts for about a week right so this is associated with severe arthralgia and myalgia so sometimes it's referred to as breakbone fever other symptoms include headache retroorbital pain maculopapular rash which is uh, a measles measles like exanthem right so this rash it appears two to five days after the onset of fever and another symptom is generalized lymphadenopathy now moving to dengue hemorrhagic fever uh, this usually okay in one to two percent of the cases uh, and it's associated with changes in mental status for example confusion above that uh, hemorrhagic manifestations, and here we see petechia, epistaxis, that's nostril bleeding, and gingival bleeding. And another complication uh, associated with uh, a dengue hemorrhagic fever is dengue shock syndrome. Right, so this is a combination of dengue hemorrhagic fever plus shock. And also, uh, this Dengue hemorrhagic fever is associated with increased vascular permeability. So this can present a, in form of a pleural effusion, that's an abnormal amount of fluid in the pleural cavity, and ascites, like the abnormal amount of fluid in the peritoneal cavity. And again, I said uh, serotype 2. Serotype 2 is the one associated with a uh, dengue hemorrhagic fever if there is a repeated infection right okay uh, let's talk about diagnosis now uh, there are a lot of ways we can do laboratory diagnosis where we will find uh, for example leukopenia uh, and increased liver function tests 
right uh but the best way is to use serology where we detect the IgM and the IgG all right and other alternatives include the use of uh PCR and also uh, using like molecular method for example ELISA that's enzyme linked immunosorbent assay and that one is used to detect the viral antigen moving on to treatment here there is no specific treatment uh, for the dengue fever but what we can do we can do symptomatic treatment for example we can give fluids to avoid dehydration and uh, in case of a uh, dengue hemorrhagic fever, there might be uh, serious internal bleeding. So we can do blood transfusion. All right. Uh, and on prevention. All right. Uh, since I said uh, this dengue virus is transmitted by the Aedes mosquito, we can avoid exposure. And also, there is a tetravalent attenuated live vaccine. This vaccine is uh, recommended for children between the age of 9 to 16 years uh, who have been previously diagnosed with a uh, dengue virus. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment on the comment section. And until next time, head bowed.